Welcome to another fabulous episode. <laughs> it's time you get to watch us eat <laughs> and drink. We're going to eat some chili and drink some fine hurricane high gravity category 5. Be bold, be smooth, be powerful. Wow. Okay. Yep. We're going to torture our stomachs to the fullest extent. Matt's already gotten started on the beer. He's loving it already. I've only smelt it. I haven't gotten it to my lips yet because the smell is so unique. It smells like bubblegum. <laughs> it does kind of smell like bubblegum. It kind of smells like a, a Belgian that yeah. got left outside and then refroze and then left outside again and then refroze. So is that that's what happened? No. I did now you say that, yeah. I, I can smell a little bubblegum and banana. Yep. Hmm. Have you tried it? You did? Understood. Maybe it'll taste better with a little chili. <laughs> it tastes like yellow. That's what it tastes like. Mm. And I like the nice frothy head. You've got some cling on there. Actually, we opened this to make fun of it, but it's not the worst thing I've ever had. No, it's definitely not the worst. Definitely not the best, but it washes the chili down pretty good. Yep. It's pretty carbonated. Plus, after we get through 25 ounces of 8.1%, wow! all the rest of our reviews will be a lot funnier. <laughs> so. Matt made this very cool... Mug. Thank you, Matt. I am a Renaissance man. So anybody who likes that, we're going to sell them for $99.99. We're going to set up a store through our YouTube channel. There you go. We're working on t-shirts next. <laughs> you just need somebody to model those. So we got beans, hamburger, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what else is in there. Tomatoes, I dumped a bunch of cheese in mine, some jalapenos, I don't know if Matt did yep. the same, but yep. some jalapenos, <coughs> cheese, There's some sour cream in mine. I guess that's it. Bunch of different kinds of beans. I think I would have probably rather had a, a Budweiser, something a little more cleaner than this. But it's not. It's not awful. No. It's uh, anybody who buys a twenty-five ounce tall boy malt liquor. I mean, I wasn't going for the greatest quality. No, I'm trying to figure out what category five is. I think that's the hurricane. It's, oh, category five hurricane. I thought maybe they had different levels of malt liquor. Mm. This one was rated the highest. Yeah, it says right here the world's most powerful hurricane. Well, I think technically anything over a five is a malt liquor. Yeah. Okay. But. So is that on the Fujisaki scale, uh, or is it on the sure, old yeah. rating scale? Whatever you said. Yeah. Or is that tornadoes? Hey. Fujisaki sounds like tsunami. I got kids watching storm chasers at home, or telling me more than I need to know. So. So does Fujisaki mean F one? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, then that does. would be tornado. I feel like I'm getting smarter as this review is going on. I hope you all feel the same way. <laughs> Anybody who 
saw their start and said, yeah, I really want to watch these guys eat chili <laughs> and drink malt liquor. So if you're still with us, thank you. Well, the chili's excellent. The bread's good. Actually, the bread's excellent, too, I think. Yeah, the bread's really good. Homemade bread. You know, I, next time we know, we'll drink Budweiser or Miller High Life or yeah. Coors. No. But this is okay. It's just that I gotta hold my breath when I drink it because that bubblegum smell kind of turns me off. I don't know why. Yeah. It's actually, there's a little bit <clears throat> more going on here than I expected from a more value oriented beer. So, and that's not really what I want necessarily. I want something that I can sit in the river when it's 95 degrees on Labor Day and just pound a few of these and. Well, if you did that, the complexity is a little too much for that. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get out of your chair that's sitting in the river after drinking two of those, especially your 25 ounces. Well, we won't bore you with the rest of this. And uh, if you've had Hurricane and you like it, let us know. If you enjoy Matt's fine artistic etching and you want a glass, let us know. We might be able to work something out. So we will see you all on the next one, which will be very shortly. Cheers. <laughs>